Good morning again, Bruce here. This should be my last video for today on YBIT. And then uh, tomorrow I'm hoping to do some of the gold and silver that I promised. So hopefully I can get to that tomorrow on Sunday. Anyway, hope you're having a good weekend or your weekend is starting here in the morning. You may have had a good Friday night. Okay. So what did we do in Bitto? The fund was down, like BTC and a lot of the Bitcoin. And even the market began to sell off at the end of the day on Friday, but was up in the morning. So let's take a look here. Uh, we were down 2.84 on the underlying of Bitto, down to 2464. The good news is we collected all the 108,000 pretty much. Um, minus about three or four thousand when we bought back a one cent two cents and three cents all these contracts here right so it was a hundred and eight thousand to gain so we gained about a hundred and four so nice job fund managers on that Bitto, or sorry uh, y bit only went down 1.17 which is what happens when you have all those calls out there. We don't match the down performance. So we do a little better. So let's look at the trades. We definitely had some, although no shares or they didn't reach the 25,000. We're still at 400,000 shares uh, in YBIT, uh, which tracks BIDO, which in turn is the futures for BTC directly. So we did a buy to close, buy to close, buy to close, right? One cent, two cent, and three cents on all 3,000 of our contracts. No new synthetics because we didn't get cash in and we used, uh, and we sold 3,000 more at 34 cents. So we collected like 102,000. So let's put that back in the other monitor and take a look at our cash rolling out to the right. Um, we went up 95,000 and, and if you look at, we sold 102, right? And we paid about 4,000 to pay that back. So one way or another, we came out real close here, 95,000 ahead in our total position, which always is nice when your accounting works. So let's take a look. And since there were no synthetics, let me just go over. So this synthetic on the 29, we're still setting, even though we've, we've pulled 357 by writing, we haven't written anything since 5.2, but we're setting on a 900,000 loss, right? So when we add that to the 200,000 loss, we're about 1.1 million in the hole on our 26. So we didn't write any synthetics yesterday, but just wanted to remind you, we have collected 130,000 on this. So when we look at our payments, and I'll go over this at the end, what I had been doing was just sticking everything in April. And I noticed today when I was doing that, that I made sure the May money's down below and then just added the columns. And then ultimately, I'll have a number for you for everything, you know. It's unique because when you come in a new fund, you got a week here, then you have all of May, then we declare, I think, on the 5th, and uh, you'll get your payment. So I'll clean this up, but right now I'm using June to sum up these columns. So uh, before, I, I'll come back to this. So we've talked about everything on May. Uh, let's go over our weekly again. So all the calls are at the 2550, right? Which is about a dollar ahead based on everything I'm seeing. So we pulled back down to 2464. You know, we had come down, bounced off this strong support line. Um, come back up to in the 25s and now we're back a little. I didn't update it here, but it's not far from where it was. The volume wasn't significant at all. So otherwise I would have changed the chart. Um, 
So I, in a way, I don't like the 3,000 contracts all at one strike price. But to be honest, when you have small values like 25 and 26 that these things are being written at, they don't, you know, we only got 34 cents. And the week before, when we were using a strike, we I think the 25s, let's look at that. We got more money, right? We, we've gotten... 42 cents, we've gotten 38 cents when we've gone out and we've written 25s and 26. So we went in the middle this time, about a dollar out. And uh, also on this one, we got 31. So they came in and they got 34 because the volatility has gone down a little bit because it's basically trading in the lower end of the range. So last month with multiple um, contracts totaling 3,000, by the way, we got 108,000. This time we only picked up 102,000 on 3,000 contracts. So hopefully if people buy in, uh, they can sell some more synthetics and hopefully this thing moves up a little, which, you know, at some point people run out of money chasing it down. Um, so we're still looking at 400,000 there. Um, I think we can just jump in. There's not, not much to show you on the underlying on Bitto. Um, let's go over that payment tab and I'll wrap this thing up and make it, oh, I know what I'll do. <coughs> so we collected, you know, 99% of our money. So here's the ugly part, right? This 29 is just way out there. There's one week to go. I would have sworn they would have taken this off, right? But maybe for whatever reasons, without people buying in, you know, buying it on sale, that they thought, well, we'll just leave it, a, you know, for another day or two. But that'll happen. They'll roll it. They'll figure out what they're going to do. Um, this new position, we sold it at, what, 31 or 32, I just said. Uh, and now it closed, yeah, uh, 34. And it closed, you know, two cents away from that at 36. So we're setting, um, sorry guys, I'm jumping around. So we're 5.88%, 5, 5 right? We've got those 108, 102 numbers that were our weeklies before. So we collected 102. And they're saying that if we had to close it out, it'd cost us 108. That'll change. That'll have time decay, especially if we stay down here for a while. So we, we should do well and collect this. The good news is if we don't and we run up to 26 and we run by at 50 cents, it doesn't cost us that much, but that'll kick our 26 in gear, right? That'll wipe this out and we'll continue to be able to sell some calls and put money in the, uh, the synthetic side. Oops, this should be, what, 11 or 12. There we go. So this isn't that far away. So, you know, it's always like if you kill your weeklies by running up too much, you're gonna make synthetic. So the perfect world is don't drop so much but write your synthetic, write your weeklies out, you know, five to 15% and be consistent. But honestly, when you pick these high, v, high IV stocks to collect decent premium, they're always gonna have these moves one way or another. So that's the nature of an income fund. Um, all right, now I can go back on. So we did well, right? We're hurting on these two, like one point, one, two, what? Well, yeah, 1.12 million. For some reason, this is still showing um, us here not equating, right? We're showing overvalued um, at 1935. Let me make sure that's correct. Yes. So that happens sometimes. Um, so let's look now with that in mind, with the with the 1.12. So otherwise, this fund looks great, right? I mean, you've got 63 cents with really three trading weeks uh, left before declaration. Um, 
you've got a dollar eighty-five in total income, right? But sixty-three of it, so you got like a dollar twenty-two setting over here. The problem is altogether that's seven thirty-nine. This one synthetic is losing, you know, uh, nine hundred thousand of that money. Yeah, it's losing 900k, and you want to fix that. You got plenty of time on the other one um, to get there, but that needs to happen, and it needs to move up a little so the loss isn't so bad. But remember, this is a new fund. They're still going to pay it. I think a minimum of a dollar on this thing, uh, and and if we clean up our act on that loss, and and or rewrite it and start moving up on say a 26 that that we we already have a 26 but maybe once we close the 29 we'll go full bore on the 26 alone and make the money so anyway that's all i got for you have a great weekend going forward hopefully this helps don't forget to like and subscribe again i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice uh, always seek out professional financial advice. Have a good weekend. See you guys. Bye.